Hey folks, welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Last time, we found out that Elsie had run away from home, planning to become a monster hunter and correct her mistake uh, in participating in the summoning of the giant duck that wounded or injured her mother. Um, we also then managed to get out to the Gecko Station Ruins and finally get our hands on some more iron, a few fiber mesh, and a few other things. And uh, where we left off, we were heading towards this event on the map, which is going to be the final meeting with Musa to hear his decision on whether or not he would invest in Sandrock. So, let's get over there and find out how that's going to play out. We may... Okay, it may not be exactly that. I know we were summoned to a City Hall meeting. It looks like something's happening inside. I'm not sure whether this is the meeting itself or Hello, some precursor. All. Thank you for coming to this meeting. No doubt you were all wondering what Mr. Musa's decision will be. To invest or not to invest. <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> well, without further ado, let's hear it from Mr. Musa himself. Thank you, Mayor Trudy. Hi. As a business person, I tend to strike quickly to the heart of the matter. Please, do not mistake my directness for discourtesy. I have reached the decision to finance the plan to build the tunnel directly through the Ufala Range to and from Portia. All right. Sand Rock's been slowly dying since its oasis shrunk, and the Northern High Speed Railway was completed between Natara and Highwind. But its inherent advantages are still there. The ruins here and the riches they may hide are invaluable. Plus, being at the literal center of the free cities, well, I just refuse to believe that there's not something to be had here. It's no secret, the issues you've all faced around here. But now I've heard your stories, how you've built yourself back up time and time again from the brink of ruin. Heck, I've even seen it for myself. Brave folk like Builder putting their lives on the line for the good of the town. Listen, I think we all got off on the wrong foot. But with great conviction, I too am now proud to say, I, I believe in Sandrock. Yes. <laughs> this is just the start, baby. You're right. But this is a good start. And we got here thanks to everyone's efforts, especially yours, Builder. You know, <laughs> so I know it's a video game and I'm the protagonist and these people are not real. It's still incredibly rewarding to constantly get praise from them for, for how well we're doing. It's just, it's just like very nice to hear. That's right. We still have a long way to go if we're to make Sandrock repeat his former glory. But I'm fully invested. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk planning. You all already meant mint. The gentleman over here is Albert. He's an expert in negotiations and construction management. Supposedly you have a plan to present? Go ahead, please. <laughs> You're too kind, Mr. Musa. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, everyone. <clears throat> I won't bore you with the details, but here's the summary. Our goal here is to construct the road from both city-states and meet up in the middle of the southern Eufaula. I'm in charge of the portion side of the project, and I'll liaison with my old friend Heidi on the Sandrock part. The project will be made up of three key parts. One is to dig a tunnel on the Sandrock side through the Eufaula range. On the portion side, we also have to dig a tunnel through the Muskoke range. Sounds like Chi's gonna need to research and I'm gonna need to build some sort of drilling machine for that. Finally, we'll need to come up with some sort of durable pavement for the road for the hottest part of the desert. You know, to prevent it from crumbling? That about sums it up. I believe Heidi already has a plan for the tunnel's construction here. Um, right. The overall tunnel design is already complete, but we still need to do a feasibility study on the terrain to see if we need to make any changes. Min? Yes, I'm here for that. Since you just got here, why don't you get some rest today? You can start tomorrow. Once you have done your survey, we can have another meeting to hash out all the construction details. Builders, I would advise you to be on standby. Lots of things are coming your way. That's the way we like it, Musa. Uh, <laughs> can't, can't, me can't handle this. I'm as ready. I'm ready. I, my, my workshop is, is humming. It's at 100% work right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm as ready as can be. That's what I'd like to hear. Oh, Mr. Musa, you really planned out everything already. <laughs> that, my dear Trudy, is my secret to winning. Well, that's fantastic news. I can't believe she really ran away. She was always talking about it before, but... I, 
thought it was just one of her fantasies. I hope she comes back soon. I miss her. When you're talking about Elsie, she's fine, babe. <laughs> Musa believes in us. How about that, huh? But what if we don't have what it takes to build the road to Portia? What if we let him down, huh? P -p Pressure. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Oof. All right, we, we got this. We absolutely do, babe. I think this kind of a moment deserves a celebratory hug. So, fantastic news. Uh, the Green Goo crisis and the town's response to it uh, changed Moose's mind and got him on board with I Believe in Sandrock. That's fantastic. What do you mean exactly when you said that you refuse to believe there's not something to be had here? Well, I have a bit more planned than what I've made public. You all are here, smack dab in the middle of the continent. Let's say, if I were to ever build some sort of central hub for land transportation, it'd be right here where I'm standing. It'd make sense, logistically, for trade and, if it ever came to it, war as well. The Alliance of Free Cities has limited population, but makes up a lot of territory. That's a weakness. If push ever comes to shove, we need to be able to move supplies around as quickly as possible. Every second lost could mean the difference between victory and defeat in another potential war against Duvos. And when I saw how you all handled yourselves, well, that just sealed the deal for me. The truest test of character is seeing people when things are at their worst. Very sound, very insightful, Mr. Musa. It means a lot to have your support, especially with it being so well thought out. If I may ask, where did you learn to think like this? It's all so... macro. School of Hard Knocks, Miss Heidi. Huh? I'm sure your mayor went to that school as well. Uh-huh. <laughs> cool, man. All right, cool, very cool. Seeing you sand rockers deal with all this crisis has made a believer out of me. I think there's nothing you all can't bounce back from. That's why I'm going forward with the road to Portia. Yeah, it's a risk. The greatest risk of all will always be Never taking a chance. Hmm. Ooh, finally, a light at the end of the tunnel. Except, well, first we have to build the tunnel. Then there will most assuredly be light. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, Heidi. All right, so fantastic news there for the future of Sandrock. We have to green ourselves up. We have to build this tunnel. We have to deal with Logan. But things are looking good. Hmm. Ooh, let's celebrate, Max. Musa believes in us and wants to invest in Sandrock. This is big news, really big news. And none of it would have been possible without all your efforts. Thank you, Max. It's not over yet, but things have never looked better. Be seeing ya. Yeah, very cool, very cool, very cool. All right, so, uh, what are we doing today? It's the 16th. Um, two of our pets are out on dispatch. We still need to actually adopt Coco. And I haven't seen Banjo since we adopted him. We've got some events on the map here. Uh, three orange circles, and then over here there's a blue. So, let's see. Where is this? Next to City Hall? Construction Junction? All right. Let's head into Construction Junction, see what this orange event is about. And oh, we can meet Albert, too. So, Heidi... Let's talk uh, logistics and communication. And perhaps later there'll yet be time for uh, rekindling old flames. Oh, he's her ex. We barely know each other. Huh? How's the golden genius? Gust? Gust is fine. Turned out he's super protective of his cute little sister and... Yes, let's talk logistics and communication. Uh, Gust is also someone from my time at Portia, the first game. I didn't have a huge amount of interaction with him, but he was Gale, the mayor's son, an older brother to Ginger, a sickly girl, and a romantic interest in that game. It is interesting to hear that Albert kind of has the hots for Heidi. Uh, all right, he doesn't want to chat yet. Let's chase down some more events. Some more of the consequences of this decision. So we've got something over here. Uh, is that down at the... That's maybe down at the... Oasis? No. It's right here, between Musa and Yan. 
And so, uh, you see, Mr. Musa, uh, heavy equipment thingies, um, they require a lot of gold. And as a conductor, that's a thing, right? <laughs> He's trying to get some money out of him. Well, in any case, that's why it's so darn expensive. I mean, if I could use less gold, I would. Really. But we at the Sandrock Commerce Guild simply refuse to cut corners. That is, unless you want us to, Mr. Musa, or, uh, sir. Uh-huh. Say, Commissioner, I think I left my wallet in the guild. Was it stuffed full of goals or completely empty? I can't seem to recall. Ah, oh, well, that's neither here nor there. Would you mind fetching it for me? But of course! I shall return it to you post-haste. In at least one of the conditions you just <laughs> described. <laughs> Cover it for me, newbie! And that's a good Mind way... Time. And that's a really good and simple way to get rid of him, Musa. Uh, you are good at reading people. Give you that. A moment, please. Sure, what do you need? I want to emphasize that I really need you to handle most of the builder work for this project. When I roll, I want to roll with the best people. Uh... What about Mion? Even if she was the best in the world, I still prefer to work with people I know. And as fate would have it, since I've been in Sandrock, I've been seeing your work the most. You'll receive the standard rate. Plus a bonus on all commissions related to the Road to Porsche project. Do your best. A lot of people are counting on you. You got it, sir. It's good to be needed, right? Uh, since we are here... Do I have anything I need to sell? Yes, I need to sell this Royal Desert Warrior shirt. Let me get that taken care of, and we'll take a quick trip to Waterworld. And then is there anything else he's got that I need? It would be nice if I could see how much stuff I had. Uh, we al almost always need sea salt. And we quite often need soy sauce. Anything else I put into a lot of recipes? I guess there's some rice from time to time. Uh, the rest of this is toys. Yeah, I might need some pigment from time to time. Okay. That seems fine. Let's get our daily water. And I think I need some fertilizer too. Not a huge amount, but like 30 should do the trick. And what are we sitting on now? Uh, 105 goals. Okay. So the next upgrade to the yard costs 100, and I'm guessing the one after that will cost either two or 300, so... I think we're gonna wait a while before we do more work on the on the house and the and the yard. Um, yeah, I think that's a good plan. Hey, buddy. So, did you hear the news? Moose is gonna invest. <laughs> I'm beyond excited that Moose is funding the road. Think of all the imports and exports I can start setting up for the store. Oh, plus, I guess the water thing. For me, that's just the cherry on top. All right. Hey, go easy. Glad, <laughs> glad you're. Up to up to speed and planning your next uh, your next venture. Uh, we've got a couple more events going on that we can get to. Oh, and you know what else? I think I have to get into the research center here, and it looks like that's where we're headed anyway. Yeah, uh, I need to get something researching. I think. Okay, so why don't we finish out the machines here? We'll get the industrial grinding table. That's going to take six days. After that, we've got either the Super Dew Collector, or we can go into Intermediate Jewelry. This is probably the last thing I do. Advanced Cooking, Advanced Tailoring, Advanced Forging. Yeah, some of this stuff we can do. Um, one thing I don't know is how I get the frying pan. And the other things. I should look into that at the chef's cooking station. I'm not actually sure if I've upgraded my machine there, my cooking machine. We should look into that as well. Um, actually, there's an event in here. Didn't trigger when I zoned in, so I must have to go find Chi. Who's going to be integral to all these projects for sure. Oh, here's Mint. So, they brought you out here again. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of Moose's guy now. Which is good. You know, nice to have a stable gig. Indeed. Stability is an often overlooked aspect in evaluating the utility of a given profession. 
I should know, as those who make such oversights are the types that I've tended to seek out for my lab assistant position. In any case, congratulations. You are aware that Mr. Musa is the wealthiest person in the Free Alliance. That should lead to some solid opportunities for you. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've heard that too. Good. So, this tunnel project. Will you be needing any new equipment designed? I've been working on a prototype based on an old world design. Something rather obscure. Something you never would have heard of. <laughs> Another anime uh, robot. <laughs> a bigger one. A laser sharpened sword forged from steel folded a thousand times. My theory is that it will be able to slice through the rock, facilitating your tunnel building endeavors through the mountains to Portia. All I need is a bit of funding to get it off the ground and into the forge. Okay, it's from a, he, he's been watching samurai anime. He wants to make a katana. <laughs> I don't know about laser sharpening. That almost sounds like a lightsaber, but he's talking about steel, so it's gotta be a katana, right? What? You mean like that ninja sword you drew on the back of the math homework back in fifth grade? Hmm. No, no, completely unrelated to that. That was just some childish fantasy. I'm surprised you still remember that. You really think that as an adult, I would still fancy making that sword? <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate the offer, Space Case, but Moose has got this project pretty well lined up already. Pretty sure we'll be using already known construction equipment for this project. Don't think we'll need any research this time. Thanks, though. I see. Inform me if circumstances change. Bye. <laughs> You're going to wish you had my ninja sword. Ah, <laughs> uh, hilarious. Mm. Good. Now that formalities are out of the way, we can finally get boring. Huh? No, no, no. Boring. We need boring upgrades for the mobile suit. Ugh. Boring as in tunnel boring, drilling a hole. Not uninteresting boring. I despise homonyms. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> this is, I love... I love the characters in this game. They're so good. Uh, Alright, so taking a look at the map here. We have this event over by the Valley of Whispers. We currently have no missions. We could do some commissions today. Uh, where has Lickety gotten off to? Alright, let's go. Let's head out to the Valley. And see what we find. It could be Elsie related, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll have to go and see. Uh, there wasn't a lot of fallout from Cooper's anger. It seems like Mabel talked him down and he's back to being a normal person now. now we've got some hyenas here, so I'll have you stay put. Oh, okay, we, we can install another Yakmel station here. Can we, we still can't get across the bridge, right? Bit of a wasteland over there. Better not push forward. Okay, well, I'm not sure what this is about then. Unless it's just access to that area over there. Which is probably... Yeah, that's probably what it is. Access to this. Hmm. I think there's an invisible wall here. Yeah, we've done what we can in terms of... Uh, exploring. The Valley of Whispers. I would like to go back and see it now that it's cleaned out, actually. Let's just take a quick gander. We should be able to go in there with our camel now. Obviously the enemies will still be here, but... We don't need to be chopping down sisal trees right now. I just want to kind of take a look around. I mean, it's, it is what it, it's, it's exactly what I expected. It's cleaned out, but otherwise exactly the same. So the, uh, the gas is gone, but all the rest of this hasn't changed at all. I mean, the nice thing about this area is that there's potentially aluminum scrap if I can find it, but ultimately we want to be getting to the point where we have aluminum ore that we can mine and we can make, make those alloys directly rather than having to search out and farm scrap. So we need to get into this mole cave, wherever that is. All right. Uh, I mean, we sure we can we can build that Yakmo station and get it installed, but that's not particularly interesting. Um, 
I'll build it and stick it in my inventory so that I have it, and then the next time we're, we're out this way, I'll get it installed. But I don't think I'm making. I, I don't think I'm gonna make a special trip for it. So it looks like what we want to do now is get to work on some commissions. Oh, hold on. There's a wish on the board. Cooper desires something. And uh, so does Hugo. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind like Oh, hold on. What? Elsie's out and about. Okay, maybe we want to go chat with her. Um I think I will talk to Cooper. I I think I guess basically he's just over it. He was really angry that day and now he's fine again. So we're we're not gonna worry about apologizing or making things better. Or he's certainly not gonna apologize to us. Dang girl. I ain't meant for this to happen. I just wanted to I don't know. I just wanted to come home. Alright, so he's had a, a little bit of a change of heart about this. He's starting to realize, you know, he he may have screwed up by being too angry too quickly and not listening enough. Hmm. Shucks, I was never worried. I always knew Musa would come around. See us sand rockers don't really have any long term enemies. Except maybe the Gigglers, and the Bandy Rats, and the Atarans, and other Sand Rockers. Dang Sand Rockers, they ruined Sand Rock. <laughs> yeah. Or else she's sharp as a tack. Must be from her mother's side. Agreed. Howdy. Hey there, partner. Doing a bit of loafing, are you? Say, I'll give you something to do. Go and fetch me a rustic cabinet. Do it for your old buddy Cooper. So long, partner. All right, I don't know that we know how to make that. So we may need to purchase it somewhere. But I think it is time to do some commissions. Rust you know what else? I am curious. What's the price for a fully grown, fully happy Yakmel? It was a little over a thousand. Like, it was mostly around 1,200 before. Yeah, these guys are maxed out at 1,466. So, if we really wanted to, we could grab... You know, three, four calves for twelve hundred. Grow them up, sell them, and make a profit of around three thousand. Or we could keep the adults we have, and I guess harvest their milk, hair, and horns and sell that. I'm not sure which is better in the long run. Probably the milk, hair, and horns. I guess it, it would be how much can you get in one week, seven days? Because that's about how long it took them to grow. Once you get rid of the original investment, they're just continually producing that. And, like, the game tends to reward over time kind of things. Like, you know, the farm and whatnot. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I'd be interested to see if somebody did an analysis of it. It might end up being pretty close, to be honest. That would be in line with the game's development uh, style. Of, like, pacing you deliberately. Uh, do we have a rustic cabinet in here? We have a rustic wardrobe. Is this what he wants? No, because I'd have to buy that with badges. I think he said cabinet. Uh, iron sword and shield is going to be good, no doubt. That's 1400 Uh The canvas is 1000 Both of these are for unsure. 800 800 500 over here, we got 1100 for that, 1900 for the tomato fish. All right, the tomato fish we can do. And then we'll do the two unsures. And then that leaves what? Frying pan, a frying pan for Mabel? All right, let's get that going too. Okay. Let's go take care of these, and then I'll have to burn off my stamina. And it seems like that's about going to be it for today. Uh, where's Hugo? What is he? He had a wish as well. I need to double check with him. I'm pretty sure he didn't say wardrobe. I think he said cabinet. We could go talk to Elsie as well. And we got a delivery up at the church for unsure. Do we have both of his things? No. All right, so let's go get the sword and shield and the frying pan working, as well as the tomato fish. Alright, so Banjo is assigned a bed. I don't know where he is, but he's not hanging out. 
It's fine. I mean, if, if he can't do dispatches for us, if he's just a pet cat that we've adopted to provide a home to, I'm fine with that as well. Uh, all right, let's get the sword and shield and the frying pan going. Oh, there's my new daggers. That's exciting. All right, iron sword and shield. Yes. And then we'll queue up one frying pan behind it. That's exciting. Uh, let's get these daggers ooh, refined up. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to upgrade, won't I? Wait, how do I refine my chromium daggers? There we go. It's going to take rose stone, but we have a stockpile of this. And they were already perfect, so now they're rare. All right, excellent. Let's check out the, uh, the difference here. So, the iron daggers are 105 to 120. Chromiums are 151 to 168. Iron daggers come with lifesteal and crit damage. The chromium daggers can't come with lifesteal. And after attacking an enemy, gain 7% chance of gaining bulletproof and 100% chance of increasing critical chance by 45%. So, fighting multiple enemies, we'll start to see lots of crits. Now, that's good for groups, not as good for bosses, but we'll take it. Uh, the, the attack value upgrade is very nice. And that means that these rare iron daggers are up for grabs for somebody. Or I could sell them for 400 gold. I'll probably sell them. We don't know anybody who likes weapons, iron daggers and whatnot. Maybe Elsie. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll give it to Elsie. All right. Uh, we did we did workshop at the start of the day, so we shouldn't need to do too much here. Uh, we can take a look at the intermediate here. We've got 19 canvas. We're giving away some, so let's make like nine here. I guess. I think that seems okay. Uh, all right, so we got 144 bronze. Right, we don't have a lot of these ores yet. Looks like we need more manganese steel by a lot. After the bronze is done. Uh, okay, these guys are working on it. Blender's doing fine. Always do a little bit more recycling. Okay, that's good. Uh, the rustic, the rustic cabinet. Can we make that? No, it doesn't look like we can make it. I'm not sure whether we need a recipe or need to um, buy it. Just leveled up, which is nice. Let's see, what do we need here? 16. We got 13 here. I'll queue up three more of these to get to 16. What else? Anything? We go through a fair number of hardwood planks. We get some of those crafting. And our copper gears are done. What else do we need? Yeah, we're a little bit low on a few things here. Some bronze pipes wouldn't hurt. And what else? Anything super low? We get a couple more of these. Yeah, we got some manganese steel in the works. Let's get this up to 16 with 5, and then we'll come back and do manganese steel gears another time. Top up the recycler here, or the, the ore refiner, rather. And then over here at the industrial machine tools. Can't make any of these because we don't have the things. Don't want to make that yet. Don't want to make these without need because aluminum, magnesium aluminum alloy only comes from the recycler. Apparently we have some Akacha wood. Okay, I'll make one Akacha wood plank, I guess. We must have chopped this down somewhere. Let's get that going. And we need to get the, uh, the meat stuffed tomato, no, the tomato fish soup going on the, uh, on the cookery here. I remember now what I wanted to check. 
How do I upgrade this? We can get it to the chef's cooking station with three bloodstone cores and a steel frame. Okay, I want to do that. It might become bigger. Uh, all right, bloodstone cores. We need three of these. And then we need a steel frame. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's get this upgraded. And then I don't know how we put the additional cooking tools on here, but there, there's got to be a way. Uh, let's upgrade. Okay, we've got the chef's cooking station now. We're gonna have to move this around. That's okay, we can make that work, I think. Okay, the chef's cooking station. Now, what else can we do here? Steamer, walk. Ah, we so we get the walk for free. We don't actually need to like build it or anything. But this walk should unleash un, should unleash some new recipes for us. I think. Advanced cooking station. We might be able to get to as well, but we don't have the diagram. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's cook this tomato fish. How many do we need? We need seven more. Okay. That's the last of our eggs. Okay. All right. Uh, let's take a look. So our commissions, we're cooking that. This is done. Oh, I needed... Oh, one, one of the frying pans became an ingredient. So I need to queue up a second one. thing not have a queue? Not entirely sure. This is going to be done in two in two minutes, in two seconds. Okay, this thing doesn't have a queue, I guess. Alright, you build that. I'm going to refine this up for uh, the recipient. You want it rare. Okay. Okay, so we've got the sword and shield. We've got both of Unsure's commissions done, and I just saw Banjo show up. Hey, buddy. Why don't you go dig up... Some, well, maybe I can get some eggs if you do collection. Anyway, welcome to the fold. Glad to know you're working for the, for the cause. <clears throat> okay, um... I'll wait nine seconds for the tomato fish, and then we can do three deliveries. Uh, we're going to have to come back and pick up the frying pans for Mabel. But uh, after that, uh, I think we'll be done with the days, aside from uh, heading back to Gecko Station, which I'll probably do off-camera, as I showed it last time. Okay. Lickety, let's roll out. Uh, let me switch over to... Pen here. Oh. Oh, I don't have enough. So I'm going to have to go get some eggs. All right, well, that's straightforward enough. Let me go murder murderize some chickens. It'll be a good test of my new chromium daggers, right? One shot. And... A one shot. And a one shot. Nice. Not get any eggs. Not nice. There's one egg. There we go. There we there, there's the eggs we need. I might I might start buying eggs from the from the store for that kind of thing rather than farming them. It seems like one of those that like sea salt. Like I, I have enough money that I could just buy some. And we'll still earn a profit. It just won't, won't be quite as much of a profit as going out and farming it ourselves. But the time is probably more valuable than the gold. All right. Two more tomato fish, please. 
and ten, nine, eight. It's agonizingly slow. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy tomato fish. All right, now I can get these delivered. Actually, the frying pans are probably done by now, but I forgot to check. All right, unsure, I've got a couple commissions for you. Thank you. Thank you. And what do you have to say about recent events? Hmm. Justice wants us to patrol way more now that the road project is approved. I agree. It's the right thing to do. Be seeing ya. Okay. Be seeing ya, bro. Ernest is apparently writing a... some sort of a article. It's like Penn is hanging out around the church. I guess he's affiliated with the church, sort of. I'm not quite clear on that. Alright, here is your... Soup. Thank you. And what do you have to say about Moose's investment? Uh -huh. What? The researcher already got funding for his robot. <sighs> Lame. All right, drill away. Poor, poor pen. Never gets any drill hands. No drill hands at all. See ya. Uh huh. What are you lot using to dig through the mountain to portion? A drill? Come on, just let me get get me a pair of metal gloves and I'll do all the work. Okay, that well. that one probably should have come first. <laughs> but it didn't. Let's go grab the frying pans. And then I'm off to Gecko Station. To mine for ores and fiber mesh. Uh, if we run into Coco, we want to adopt her too. But I haven't seen her yet today. Hey, there she is. Sweet. Thank you, game. How'd you like to come live in my place? All right. And I think it's too late in the day uh, to send her out on a dispatch, but tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get to send all four of our pets. Uh, frying pans. Oh, no, they're not done yet. Okay, well... <laughs> All right, well, guys, I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, we've only got about six minutes left in the video, but I'm going to deliver these frying pans, and then I'm going to head off to Gecko Station to do some mining. And uh, when we come back, it'll be the next day, and we'll get a start on uh, the 17th of spring and see what that entails. So we'll see you in a bit. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so nothing interesting in particular happened while I was mining, except I found a bunch more advanced toolboxes, and I sort of got to wondering what the heck they were for because we've never actually used them for anything. So hold on, we've got multiple events happening this morning. Let's see what's going on. Mapua tofu. Dinner. Mmm. All right, there's that. Uh, we've obviously got to do a bunch of workshop stuff today, and today is the 17th. It is Grace's birthday. Uh, we don't have anything on the board, and if we look at the map. There doesn't appear to be much. There's a couple of wishes we could fulfill for Owen and Cooper. Uh, and Hugo had a wish. I just still don't know about this rustic cupboard that he mentioned. I don't think wardrobe works. Uh, but anyway, I took a look at this item that I've just been talking about, the toolbox. And uh, if you read the description, it says, open to see what's inside. So I've collected these through the entire playthrough and I've never opened any of them. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a... <laughs> A little bit of a, a gotcha game uh, right here at the end of this episode to kick off the day. So I'm going to use the first basic toolbox. Quality outstanding. And we got a simple circuit. Some power stones. Some old parts. More old parts and power stones. Simple circuits. Okay, it looks like that's what the, those three things are what this, this particular quality of basic toolbox can contain. Okay, so we got five simple circuits, 38 power stones, and 12 old parts. Now, these basic toolboxes are perfect, so we might get something else. Yep, we got a metal coil, an engine. Looks like that's what can be in there. Okay. Now we've got the advanced toolbox with outstanding quality. 
Right, we got some microchips, condensed power stones, fiber mesh. Very nice. I think each one can contain three types of prizes. And then this is the perfect advanced toolbox. Interestingly, we could probably refine these items up. And maybe I should do that. I don't know if we can. Let's see what's inside the advanced toolbox. So we get a hydraulic rod, microchip, and compact motor. Curious, can I upgrade this to rare in the refiner? Uh, advanced toolbox. Maybe it's not possible. Yeah, it looks like it's not possible. All right, that's that makes sense. It's a loot box. They can't be like, no, just take all the trash loot boxes and upgrade them to ultra perfect rare. That would be bad. So uh, anyway, looks like we get a bunch of cool ruin style items. So we got five simple circuits, 48 power stones, 25 old parts, 17 metal coils, seven engines, 16 microchips, 16 condensed power stones, five fiber mesh, four hydraulic rods, three compact motors and a partridge in a pear tree from all those boxes that I'd saved up. Very exciting there. Uh, let's send the boys out. The boys and girls. You all can go on... Hold on. What did I get from you? Did I get any eggs by any chance? Uh, feathers, cactus fruit. I don't think they can get me eggs. I don't think so. So, I don't need relics. Yeah, let's have them all go do digging. Anybody? Oh, by the way. When you pet him, it is the cutest thing. I did this off camera. When you pet him, it is the cutest thing ever. He gets down on the ground and lets you give him scritches on the head. <laughs> How awesome is that? Coco, my, my bird pet, my new friend. Love you, buddy. All right. Why don't you go dig up some more? And Nemo. Uh, Nemo, you can do the same. Timon. Go dig me up some ore. And then where's Banjo? Banjo's always the one that's hard to find, apparently. Not sure exactly why. Eh, maybe he shows up at some point during the day. Alright, well, uh, let me finish up with the Yakmel boys. Scamp, you get first pets today. Then Noodles. Then Toodles. And then we'll give some love to Doodles as well. Let me check your food. You're okay. Um, let me gather up your dukes. Oh, there's only three? No, probably two on top of each other. Yeah, like that. And how much did we get from this today? 24 yak mail milk, 28 hair. We got drugs at the clinic today. Okay. I swear we already have these somewhere, sandberries. Whatever. So there's 24 milk. Where'd the rest of the milk go? Is there like a... Is this a thing that I can't have more than 24 milk at a time? Or does it go bad at the end of the day or something? We had 24 milk yesterday for sure. Oh, 251. Okay, there we go. That's in the wrong place. That's more in line with what I was expecting after a week, after a week of yakmel harvesting. I was like, what the hell is going on? Where's all my damn milk? Uh, so what are these worth? Two gold. Oh, they're not really worth that much, are they? That's disappointing. I mean, we can use them as ingredients and we can sell, we can give them as gifts, but I sort of hope they'd be worth a little bit more. There we go. We got 275 milk. So there's, you know, 550 gold if we need it. What about the horns or the... No, that's a lizard tooth. The, the hair's worth one... And what's the horn worth? Probably not that much. I mean, the horn I could turn into combs maybe and sell at the jewelry machine. I can't remember if there was anything else involved in that. I don't know where the horn is. 
I don't even know what it looks like, to be honest. All right. Let me, let me check that idea. Can I at least turn the horn into something valuable? Where's my jewelry machine? Over here. Uh, yes, we can. And these are worth 19. These are worth 5. So we take two of them that are worth 10 and turn them into a comb and sell it for 19. So the Yakmel horn at least has a potential profit. I guess we'd have to use the milk in cooking. And then I don't know what the hell we use the hair for. But I guess I'll make 10 of these... You can't, you can't stack them either, so I have to go and sell them as soon as they're done, but... It's something. It's some kind of profit. Uh, that'll be worth 200 goals. Well, 190, I guess. Hmm. Alright, well, I mean, we've done animals. I've still got more workshop things to do this morning, plus the, uh, plus the farm over here. So, I'm gonna have to end the episode there, but... Uh, when we come back, I don't know. It's Grace's birthday, we have drugs at the clinic. No missions on offer, and nothing happening here. So it might be another kind of lazy day. It might be a little bit of a slow day where we just uh, where we just do some commissions and then move on to the next day. Maybe something will happen. Who knows? So I've got to do missions. I want to do wishes. Um, Grace's birthday, drugs at the clinic, commissions, and then farming. So it seems like it's going to be kind of another slow-paced day. But uh, I hope you guys will come back and watch anyway, because if you've come this far, you're used to that by now, right? Uh, folks, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Take care.